Airbnb has done it again. <sighs> Here we go. Are you ready to hear the new policy update? So Airbnb is now changing their host cancellation policy, which used to be a maximum fine of up to $100, and now it is 1000 So starting August 22nd of this year, 2022, if hosts cancel, they can get a minimum fine of $50, up to $1,000. And here's the breakdown of that. The fee is based on the reservation amount and when the reservation is canceled. All right, this is straight from their website. If the reservation is canceled 48 hours or less before check-in or after check-in, the fee is 50% of the reservation amount of the nights not stayed. If the reservation is canceled more than 48 hours but less than 30 days, then the amount is 25% of the reservation. If the host cancels more than 30 days out from the reservation check-in, then it's only 10%. When calculating the reservation amount, they include pet fees, cleaning fees, but will exclude taxes and guest fees. If the calculated fee is less than $50, then Airbnb will round up to $50 and that will be your fee. If the calculation is more than $1,000, then Airbnb will round down to $1,000 and that will be your fee. So you're not going to pay less than 50 and you're not going to pay more than $1,000 in fines. Cancellation fees are typically held within the next payout. So you can have reservations built up, but until they get their money, you're not going to get paid pretty much. They will waive the fee if a host cancels because of extenuating circumstances or certain valid reasons. Extenuating circumstances are very unclear on their page, but it's pretty much like disasters or the pandemic or something that is out of the host control and mainly based on the government or the world. Now, valid reasons can be like a pipe that has bursted, uh, emergency in the home, you smell gas, or if you have proof that the guests intend to break the house rules, then you can cancel and that's a valid reason. So Airbnb continues to make changes to their policy um, and I want to know what you guys think about it. Drop a comment below. Here's what I've noticed in my bookings. My bookings have still been solid on Airbnb, but I've seen more uptick in VRBO recently. Uh, I am not sure if that's because Airbnb is making all these policies and people are going to VRBO. Uh, but in certain areas which VRBO is not used, I'm starting to see an uptick. However, I'm going to keep using both platforms. I do not like Airbnb making more policies that are not in favor of the host, but I'm just going to write it out and see. Let me know what you guys think. Well, you heard it here. This is the Misguided Podcast where we intend to guide you to a better future. My name is Juwan, and I'll see you on the other side.